Hi, today I'm showing you how I built this diorama. Let's get started. So this is going to be a simple two-story high building. It's going to be 16 inches wide by 12 inches deep and a little bit more than 16 inches high. Everything will be built in 3 eighths of an inch thick plywood. So let's start by cutting the basic structure. For now, it looks like a giant wooden box, but I'm gonna cut some openings in it and we'll see doors and windows. It'll look like a house. For this step, planning is crucial. Even if it's not 100% scale accurate, it has to look good and it has to flow right. Now that this is done, let's build a base. For the painting, I hired a highly skilled team of painters to do the job. For the two big windows, I used 2mm thick acrylic and for the framing, I used these dollar store wooden matches that I found. They work perfectly. One mistake that I made is that I should have had painted the wooden match before installing them. It turned out to be a real pain in my to paint them afterward. The rest of the windows and door framing are done with the classic popsicle stick and is painted white to match the rest. For the exterior walls colors, I wanted to go with a brick-like 
brownish color but since my wife wasn't there to choose the right color of paint i ended up with this orange color but yeah it'll do The rest of the windows are made of one millimeter Lexan sheet that is basically stapled from behind. I used some leftover placemat to do the uh, window curtains on this. I think it looks good. For the interior decoration, I used leftover posters that I had from my uh, giant diorama build. I think they'll work perfectly for this diorama. So now it's time to secure the motorcycles on the, the base of the diorama because I want to be able to move it around without the motorcycles falling off. So for that, I decided to screw them with die-cast screws at an angle. It's a lot of guessing, but I think it works. You let me know in the comments what you think. See, it holds. Perfect.
for the store sign, I was lucky that my friend Luke 3D printed me these. I think they look fantastic. Thank you, Luke. Now it's time to install the lights. I chose these uh, under cabinets, counter, kitcheny lights. Uh, I had them on sale at my local hardware store. I think they'll look great.
Hello everyone and welcome to Police Motors. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.